Everybody's getting lucky in this room. <laughs> because we are going on a Gershwin Odyssey. <laughs> yes. With Peter Laszlo Zepp on the piano. <laughs> He's Hungarian. <laughs> Yes, and I am Rachel Murdy, and I'd like to introduce you to my Valentine. BB, the Chihuahua, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be sleeping during the show. As you can, too. You're welcome to. <sighs> you know, Peter and uh, BB and me, we started our Odyssey in November. Oh, and it's been such a joy. How could we lose with George's music and Ira's lyrics? Oh, Ira. He loved to rhyme and to fish. <laughs> Rhinos 
love to cry. But I love to cry. I love to say, day, day, may, hey, hey. Chuckle, knuckle, nickel, fickle. To rhyme so much that he quit his job working as a cashier at his father's business, a Turkish baths on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. And at 21, he said, I'm going to become a lyricist, but I, I don't want to trade in on my younger brother, George's growing reputation, so I'll use a pseudonym. So he went by Arthur Francis. And he did pretty well. And soon, George Gershwin and Ira Gershwin were working as a team. And uh, they wrote over two dozen scores for Broadway and Hollywood and became very famous in their own time. And uh, they made a lot of money. <laughs> Lives for making money Lives a life that isn't necessarily sunny Likewise the man who works for fame There's no guarantee that the time won't erase his name The fact is, the only work that really Just imagine so 
the cottage door Where two hearts become one Who could ask for anything more Loving one who loves you And then taking that vow Nice work if you can get it And if you get it Won't you tell me songs that the Gershwin brothers wrote for the hit movie in 1937, A Damsel in Distress. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, not everybody knows A Damsel in Distress, but it, it stars Fred Astaire. You know him. The Gershwins met Fred Astaire in New York City and worked with him early in all of their careers. And they ended up with stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. All three of them. And uh, when Ira in Hollywood was asked, Mr. Gershwin, what comes first? The words or the music? Ira replied, the contract. <laughs> It. My technique can be wrong. I learned it from the screen. I hope you like it. I studied all the rhymes that all the lovers sing. And just for you, I wrote this little thing. Blah, 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 blah. Jerry Halliday, played by Fred Astaire, an American song and dance man lost in a fog. I was a stranger in the city, out of town were the people I
Oh my goodness. I'm so taken with Joan that I've forgotten. It turned out to be. Oh, the turning. <laughs> yes. It turned out to be the luckiest day I've known. It's charm. How long I wonder would this thing last? But the age of miracles, it hadn't passed. For suddenly, I saw you standing right there, and in foggy London town, the sun was shining.
Joan Fontaine, a young Joan Fontaine, 19 years old, when she played the damsel in A Damsel in Distress. And of course, RKO Studios knew that she was going to be a star. So they paired her with Fred Astaire. And she couldn't dance. We don't say Fred and Joan. <laughs> no. It was... Oh, Bibi. <laughs> you see, it was Fred's first picture, his first RKO picture without Ginger Rogers, and it was the first of his pictures to lose money. Yes. But, luckily, the Gershwins had another Hollywood musical come out that same year. Year, 1937. Shall we dance? Starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Shall we dance? Yeah! For the fun we about box office sales. Shall we dance? Oh, walk on earlier when she was 19 years old on a, a Broadway musical by the Gershwins called Girl Crazy. Fred was hanging around helping with the choreography and Ginger, an unknown, but she was a national Charleston contest winner, had gotten her a uh, big break. Oh, and Girl Crazy indeed was her big break. She was an overnight sensation. Became a star immediately with all kinds of Hollywood contracts. And uh, she did it, singing this next song. this one? Old man sometime listen you. Oh, listen you. <laughs> Thank you, I'm no ginger. <laughs> <laughs>
Important talk now, yeah? Sure! What's up? I want to talk to you about Cowboy Sam. Oh, him. Uh, Cowboy Sam is wonderful, handsome, talented, brave, strong. Uh... I haven't seen him in a day, and that's lucky for him. He has told me that he is crazy for you. Well, I can't help that. <sighs> Besides, I'm already spoken for. You are? Well, yes. In my heart. <laughs> I got a 
cousin in Milwaukee. She's got a voice so squawky. And though she's tall and kind of gawky. Oh, how she gets the men. Her singing isn't operatic. It's got a lot of static. What makes your heart get from everybody's favorite Gershwin musical, Pardon My English. <laughs> no, nobody's favorite Gershwin Broadway musical. 33 performances of a desperately stitched together series of songs, which Ira said was a headache from beginning to end. They had few flops, and that was one. <clears throat> But great song, right? Yeah. And as I understand, a great city, because it must be, because a new friend of mine is from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and is here with us tonight. Oh. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yes, Barrett Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Here she comes. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Rachel. Hi Peter. Uh, so amazing to have her here. <laughs> I'm so grateful to be here. Right um, from fresh from Milwaukee, we met each other. That in, I, mm -hmm. I, well, uh, sorry, you just mentioned Milwaukee again, and I just have to reiterate that I'm not from Milwaukee. I'm actually from Minneapolis, Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Same thing, right? I mean, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Fly over states, right? Am I right? New Yorkers, LA, we do this thing. I'm just making fun of the New Yorkers and making fun of that. I know they're like right next to each other, yeah. right? Like yeah, the they, they are neighbors. Well, yeah. that's anyway. actually a very interesting shape, but you know. But the point is, it's Midwest, am I right? Yes, you're correct. <laughs> so I have a feeling that my awky and squawky is Brooklyn. Yes. Not. <laughs> that, that's actually why I'm here tonight. I'm here to actually give you some coaching on, on that, that Midwest. I know. Actually, show. she coaches me at uh, Crown Vocal. She really does. Okay. Absolutely. That's, that's real. I do. <laughs> so <laughs> this is just an extended lesson. I'm going to give you a little bit more. So we want to think instead of those, those eyes and those O's are, are pretty bright, right? You, ah. You sound like Fran McDormand and uh, Fargo just then, right? That was real. Right. Uh, 
。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。おお。Relationships and love affairs, as the Gershwins might have put it.、Uh, again, I, I don't know about you, but sometimes it's nice to hear it out loud. Maybe three little words, just three little words. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to say it, but you could. I don't know. <laughs> When your eyes look into mine, there's something they would say. Is it? Don't resist me. Say you've made. 
nice to hear it too. <laughs> well, again, just like whether you hear those words or not, sometimes relationships, sometimes they just don't work out. And, and that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Honestly, though, there are some great things that you can take away, like the memories you shared together.
I think Sam and Delilah just didn't get to know each other. They didn't take time <laughs> to get to know everything, every little thing about each other. You know what I mean? That's the way I, that's the way I, I like to live.
There's the same old says that love is blind. Still, we're often told, seek and ye shall find. So I'm gonna seek a certain land I have in mind. Looking everywhere, haven't found him yet. He is the big affair.
narcissistic and antagonistic relationship I have with this lover that I've forgotten my words. Once again. Do you? Yes. <laughs> and I suffer all the day. version you can see in the 1938 film Goldwyn Follies. See in here. And uh, you can see in here this one too. The more I read the papers, the less I comprehend. And how it all will end. Nothing seems to be lasting, but that isn't our affair. We have something permanent, I mean, in the way we care. It's very clear. his 
brother, Ira, wrote these lyrics as a tribute. But oh my dear, our love is here to stay. Yeah. 